be doing in this lesson is we're going to go over roofs a little bit. So we're just going to go over what you guys should know going into this. I'm going to tell you that this can be a little bit confusing and it's probably going to be the most difficult thing that you learn throughout this uh, course here because roofs have always been a pain in the butt for not just me but other people that I know um, and it's also tends to be something that people really really struggle with when they are getting into architecture so I'm just going to give you a few basic examples here I have our main building on the left hand side here which is the outline um, that you will be doing or have done uh, and in the middle here we have just a basic shape and then on the right hand side we have another basic shape so what are we going to be doing well we're going to see that this is our wall so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take some text i'm going to switch my layer here now i'm going to take some test and i'm going to do text and i'm going to go uh, exterior of building walls and then i'll just drag this and i'm going to take this and copy it over and there we go well actually you know what i'm going to move them up a little bit there we go so this is going to represent the exterior of our building walls. Now, um, there's going to be another line that we're going to put. Now, usually this is a dotted line. I will say that. Uh, so um, I'm just going to, well, you know what? I'll go through and I'll see here if I could go change it. Yeah, there we go. So this is going to be a somewhat dotted line that we're going to be using to represent our exterior building walls. And then we're going to want to create our, um, what is it? The, the eaves. So... What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to offset your your building to create this roof. So when you so just type in the offset tool. So we're going to use the offset tool, and we're going to specify it. So usually, I believe the minimum distance is about uh, three quarters of a meter, which should be twenty nine and a half ish inches to offset. So we're going to type in twenty nine point five, maybe two. I think it's five two inches as our offset and we're going to offset it outside we're going to do the same here and we're going to do the same thing here now what we're going to do is we're going to select these because we do not want these to be uh, dotted we want them to be just normal there we go okay uh, and then also you know what? we'll take these and we'll make it a little darker just to make it easier for us to know what the difference is so exterior of building walls and then we're going to do our Eaves minimum. And we'll just put that here. So that's so that's that. And then what we've got to do is we need to draw our our roof. So when you're drawing this, we're gonna start on the center one first because it's the easiest one to explain. Uh, and it's the easiest one for us to do and understand. So what you want to do is, I'm going to show you the, the method that's used when you're doing actual drafting, because that's how I learned how to do it. But when you're in AutoCAD, um, there's different tools that you can use. Now, if you're in AutoCAD architecture, it's automatically going to be going to be creating a roof for you as you design. I think you can add in a roof after. Um, I apologize, I'm just checking my notes here. Okay, so yeah, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to draw angles in. So this is just going to be standard roof procedure. So we're going to go here, grab the corner, and we're going to draw towards the center. So we're going to draw towards the center. So we're going to click this. And then what you want to do is you want to go on each corner and draw a, a 45 degree angle into the drawing. So from this angle, we're going to go from here. From here, we're going to go here. And from here, we're going to go here. And you can see we have pretty much created all the angles for this roof. And it's that simple for this shape of a structure. Most people have houses this like this or like this, so it's pretty, pretty easy. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take our line. We're going to grab this. And we're going to want to go in at a 45-degree angle. So I'm going to do actually 20 feet and 45. And then I'm going to take this line. And I'm going to go do the same thing. And I'm going to do 20 feet and 45. It's okay if you have overlap. And you can see that the two kind of intersect here. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my trim tool. I'm going to trim this. I'm going to trim this. And I have now this intersection. 
So I'm going to go and do this for every other corner of my drawing. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to go to this corner. I'm going to go up probably 15 feet in this case and 45. If you're wondering where I'm getting the 15 feet and the 20 feet and all these kind of things, um, I'm just kind of estimating. I should have probably put it up to 20. So I'm actually just going to pull it up to there. And then I'm going to grab a line here. I'm going, going to go to the next corner. And I'm going to go up 20 feet again and go up 45. So then I'm going to continue on here. I'm going to go here, go to the next corner. And for this corner, I'm going this direction. So we're going to do 20 feet and um, 145. So what would 45 be from that angle? So I need to do 45 again. I can't really see what's going on here. I think it would be about 135, I believe. I think it's 135. I need to go double check that after though. So 20 feet and 135. And then we'll go here. And we'll do 20 feet and 135. So you can see in this case, I need to pull it out a little bit. So I'm just going to go here. I'm just going to extend it. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to pull this one out as well. Once that's done, I'm going to go trim. I'm going to go here. And then we're going to continue on with what we're doing. We're going to grab our line, go here. And we're going to do 135, 20 out, 20 feet. 135 and then we're going to do the same in this corner so we're going to do 20 feet 135 so just making sure we have all those corners it looks like we do that is what you would do to kind of get where your house is going to have its peaks if you're looking to master architectural design and get certified in AutoCAD and you don't feel like spending two years and $10,000 or more on education, then we've got the perfect webinar for you. It's called AutoCAD Practical Design. It's completely 100% free. Go check out the link. It's sure to help you. And we look forward to seeing you inside. Hey guys, welcome back. So we're just gonna continue on with what we were doing in the previous lesson. You can see that I just extended out my lines just a little bit. And we're gonna go through what we're supposed to do now. So what are we supposed to do now? Well, we need to go and connect these lines together. So I'm going to grab my line tool. I'm going to go and stick one there. And then what we're going to do is on the, I'm going to go pull this back. So we have our first one here. And then I'm also going to grab a line tool. I'm going to close this one up here. It's just easier to close these ones up first. And there we go. You can see our roof is already starting to take shape. Now, what we have to do is we need to connect these and we need to connect these to each other. So we need to determine, well, how do we, how do we know which angle to go at? Well, we're just going to do what we did before. We're going to come here. We're going to click this and we're going to go to, I think I'm going to do six feet. I'm going to do 135 again for this one. And you can see this is kind of where it's supposed to intersect. So I'm just going to go straight, connect it. There we go. And then I'm going to come here and close that up. And there we go. So then what I have to do here is I want to connect these two. So then I take this line, I'm going to go straight up and I'm going to try and connect it to where it is straight. And there we go. And then I can go grab this and close it up. The next thing I want to do is I want to go from this one and I want to go down here and we're going to see where exactly, as you can see on my screen, we're at exactly a 45 degree angle. Like we should be, we go, we close it up and we have our roof. So this is our roof design. So you can do this process with any type of roof and this is just how you can easily get a feel for how the roof is supposed to look now one thing that you should do and that i recommend you do is you put down little arrows showing which way it's sloping so like uh let me see if i can find anything here um i guess i could just draw one so i'll just draw an arrow excuse me And then we'll do take this. I'm going to join it together. I'm going to have my little arrow. So I'm just going to go around and place my arrow. And then I'm going to rotate them. So you want to rotate them in the direction that they're kind of going to go. So this one's going to go here. I'm going to grab this one, rotate it. This one's going to go down this direction. This one's going to go this way. 
This one's going to go this way. And this one's going to go this way. And there you have it. So we have kind of a slope for our structure. So the next thing we need to do, need to do is determine the highest point on our roof. Now, before we do that, we're going to go through and do this again on this drawing here. Because before, as you've noticed before, uh, when I did the actual roof on this drawing, um, when I was doing the examples, uh, it, was, it was just a quick one because I needed to get through the lesson. But now we're actually going to draw this roof. So we're going to come here and we're going to follow the same principle. So we're going to go in this corner. We're going to draw down. We're going to do 20 feet, 45. Grab this thing. We're going to do 20 feet, 45. We're going to grab this. We're going to go 10 feet, 45. We're going to go to this corner, come down, and we're going to do 10 feet, 45. Uh, you can see it went the wrong way, so I'm just going to go do that again. 10 feet, 135. And then I'll grab this corner too, pull down, 10 feet, 135. I'm going to go to this corner, uh, 20 feet, 135. I'm going to go to this corner, 20 feet, 135. And then we're going to do 15 feet, 45. So the reason I'm doing 135 is because it's 45 off of the next increment. So it's just 45 in the opposite direction. And then here, we're going to go 10 feet, 45. 10 feet, 45. Or sorry, 10 feet, 135. And then in this corner, 15 feet, 135, 10, or 15 feet, 45, oops, sorry, I did that wrong, erase, I did 35, 15 feet, 45, and that's it, I believe, yeah. So then we're going to follow the same principle. So I'm just going to go around and trim all of these up. So just going to go boom, 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 done. Uh, I don't know what, what happened here. Oh, I don't want to connect that yet. Okay. So here is the roof for this structure. So we're going to just follow the same principle that we did over here. And we're going to try and design it. So we're going to go and we're going to connect this. We're going to go up. We're going to go straight. Grab this, pull it down. And we're going to do the same thing here. Connect this. Grab that, pull it down. And then I'm going to have to pull this one out quite a bit. I'm going to have to pull this one out quite a bit. And then I'm going to take this, shrink it, uh, I don't know if those should be connected, actually. No, you know what, we'll just deal with it for now. We'll connect this. So, you can see we have kind of an issue here. So, this one here, um, this most likely is just going to come out. And you're seeing we're sloping the roof like this. And we're going to have a slope, so it's going this way, this way, and this way. Um, I'm probably going to go through and redesign this simply because this is an awkward structure. But for the rest of the building, it should work properly. So once we're done this, we're going to grab this. We're going to go through. And you can see it's not at a 35 degree angle. So we're going to do 23 feet, and we're going to do 30 or 45. Oh, sorry, we're going to do 20 feet and 45. And then I'm going to do the same thing here where we're going to go 20 feet and 135. And we're going to want to push this out a little bit. 
So then if we, you take a look at this, we're going to see this is where the intersections are. Now, I just want to make sure that these corners are flush with each other. And in fact, they are. So we're going to go through. We're going to trim this up. Trim, trim, trim. And that's how our building's roof should look. Because we're going to have a little bit of space here. It's all going to meet in the center here. So this is okay. Um, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to close it up. We have our roof. And then over here, this is where we have the big problems. So um, if we take a look at this again, it's it's going up, um, but uh, we can change this and make it more so like it's supposed to look. So we're actually going to do that in the next lesson uh, because I'm trying to keep these ones short. So what we're going to do in the next lesson is we're going to continue on with this. I just wanted to show you what, it sh what the roof should look like on this drawing. Uh, so I'm going to go fix that up and then I'll explain it to you in the next video and then we'll continue on with the exterior of or this one here, which is, they're all named exterior building walls. Um, but we'll go continue on with this one, and we'll also continue on with this one. Because this one is, well, it's cut and dry and simple. So hopefully this was helpful. We'll see you guys in the next one, and take care.